वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम इलेवन डैश एटीन सो स्टेटमेंट इज इफ पी इज इक्वल टू एटीन हंड्रेड पाउंड डिटरमाइन द मिनिमम डायमेंशन ए ऑफ द बीम क्रॉस सेक्शन टू द नियरेस्ट वन ओवर एट इंच टू सेफली सपोर्ट द लोड द वुड स्पेसीज हैज एन एलाउेबल नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव के एस आई एन एलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस ऑफ वन फिफ्टी पी एस आई सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बीम That is made up of wood. The cross section of beam is shown over here. This width is a, and total height is two a. And the, there is a point load at different points of the beam. So you have to find this minimum dimension a of the beam. All the given data is already mentioned. So let's solve this problem. So first step is uh, that if you remove these supports at the end, so definitely you will. replace it by reaction force let this is r a and if you remove this support so you will have a reaction force and that will be equal to r b now by using equation of equilibrium equation of equilibrium you can find this r a and r b how you can find so let's do it first So first equilibrium condition is that sum of all moment about point A is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point A, one force is R A and perpendicular distance is nine, and that is producing counterclockwise moment. It will be positive. So nine multiply by R B is positive. The other moment is due to this load P and that is. P into perpendicular distance is six, and this is producing clockwise, so it will be negative. So minus six p minus the other this p into perpendicular distance is three. Minus three p is equal to zero. So nine r b is equal to nine uh, p. So r b is equal to P and that P given is eight hundred pound. So we have R B is equal to this one. Now you can find R A by using equilibrium condition that sum of all force that is acting vertically is equal to zero. So R A minus P minus P plus eight hundred is equal to zero. So R A is equal to two P minus eight hundred, and two into P is equal to eight hundred minus eight hundred will give you eight hundred. So R A will be also equal to eight hundred pounds. Now you have both R A and R B. So we will move toward drawing a shear force and bending moment diagram. For that, I will draw vertical lines from the end of the beam, and horizontally you will take the length. That will be in feet. Okay. So here we will draw the shear force, and shear force will be in pound. So at point A, we have a shear force. Uh, R A is eight hundred pound. So at this. Point we have eight hundred. So let each division is four hundred. You can take your own value as per scale. So this will be your first point. Now you can see that moving from A till this point, there is no other force, so it will remain same. So eight hundred will remain same till this point. Now at this point we have a load of P which is minus eight hundred. So eight hundred. And this minus eight hundred will bring it to zero, so it will go to zero. Again, from this point till this point, there is no other force, vertical force, so it will remain same. It will remain same till this point. Okay. Now at this point, you have a load of P which is acting downward, and this P is minus eight hundred. so it will go downward so again this will go to this point this point is your minus 800 and moving from this to this there is no other force so it will remain same 
n at end you can see that uh, there is rb which is 800 acting upwards so minus 800 and plus 800 will bring it to zero so this is your shear force diagram now we will draw the bending moment diagram so bending moment diagram x will be in feet so bending moment will be into pounds into feet the unit will be and you will see that at x is equal to zero we will have moment is equal to zero now the first area is this one area under the shear force will give you moment so 800 this area is equal to 800 into 3 which is equal to 2400 so we will first plot 2400 over length of 3 meters so this is your 3 sorry 3 feet so let each division is uh, 1000 so this will be 2000 and this will be 3000 so 2400 will be somewhere here let this is the point this is 2400 pounds into feet now the shear force is a constant line so bending moment will be one degree higher and since it is positive so this will be a straight line okay again you can see that moving to this this is zero so shear force will remain bending moment will remain same it will be constant 2400 till this point okay now we have this area which is again you can see this area so this is again uh, area that is minus 800 into 3 is equal to minus 2400 so plus 24 at this point minus 2400 will bring it to zero and we will get the moment diagram like this so we will join this straight line it will be a straight line not will be a curve because the shear force is a zero degree line this is 2400 now we will uh, we'll have uh, this shear force diagram and this is bending moment diagram so we will move toward calculating the bending stress or uh, we will find the uh, we will find this a how we will find this so we know that we have allowable stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i since the cross section is given like that this is your a and this is your 2a clear so center will be neutral axis will be this one so this is your c and this c will be equal to a by this is 2a this is c will be equal to a okay and maximum bending moment from bending moment diagram is 2400 pounds into feet c is equal to a which is not known we will calculate that and i for this rectangular beam will be equal to 1 over 12 b is a and height is 2a so 2a whole cube now this i will be equal to when you calculate it will be equal to 2 by 3 a 4 now you have all the value you can put it in this formula we know that allowable stress given was 1.5 ksi so 1.5 into 10 raised to power 3 is equal to maximum bending moment is 2400 into c which is a divided by i which is 2 by 3 a power 4 so when you solve this you will get a from here which is 0 3.065 inch so this is the dimension of inch but we will choose we will use a is equal to 3 1 by 8 which is greater than a 3.065 why because this will be the standard size in inch that is greater than 3 inch so we will use in a is equal to 3 1 by 8 and that will equal to 31 3.3 point 
वन टू फाइव इंच ओके सो लेट्स मूव एंड वी विल चेक इट काउंटर चेक इट वेदर वी हैव सिलेक्टेड द राइट वैल्यू ऑफ दिस क्रॉस सेक्शन मिनिमम फॉर दैट वी विल यूज द क्राइटेरिया दैट इज शेयर स्ट्रेस एंड बिकॉज दिस ए इज कैलकुलेटेड बेस्ड ऑन द एलावेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस सो वी विल ऑल्सो चेक वेदर दिस सेटिस्फाई द शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस क्राइटेरिया सो डेफिनेटली वी विल मूव टू वर्ड वी नो दैट मैक्सिमम शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस is equal to v into q v max into q max divided by i into t v max from here you can see this is 800 so i will write it 800 q max now what about q max so we will take this half so you can see this will be equal to y dash and this y dash will be equal to a by 2 and this area is a by a clear so we know that q max is equal to q max is equal to y bar into a so y bar is a by 2 and area is a multiplied by a you have the value of a you can put it in this so i will write it q max is equal to थ्री पॉइंट वन टू फाइव डिवाइड बाई टू इन टू थ्री पॉइंट वन टू फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाई थ्री पॉइंट वन टू फाइव डिवाइड बाई आई आई इज टू बाई थ्री ए इज थ्री पॉइंट वन टू फाइव पावर फोर इन टू थिकनेस विच इज ए थ्री पॉइंट वन टू फाइव so when you solve this you will get maximum shearing stress that come out to be 61.44 psi and you can see this is less than allowable stress that was 150 psi that is given over here so it means that we can use A is equal to three point one two five inch for this rectangular cross section. I hope uh, this will enhance your knowledge and you have enjoyed it as well. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and click the bell icon to get the notification about my latest video. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you